Robert Fico looks set to return as Slovak Prime Minister, having served twice previously. But on those occasions, a neighboring nation wasn't at war. The morning after his election win, he told reporters his position on Ukraine is unchanged, that Slovakia has bigger problems. A reference to his election promise not to send a single extra round of ammunition to Kyiv. Instead, he wants peace talks. In the past year and a half, Slovakia committed around $1 billion Canadian in military aid, including 13 fighter jets. Per capita, that's about three times as much as Canada. Slovakia's election was not just fought on Ukraine's war, but on the culture wars and immigration too. Fitzo referring to environmentalism and LGBTQ2 rights as liberal fascism. We think it's bad news for the country and it will be even worse news if uh, Mr Fizzo forms a government. Many NATO leaders will likely think the same as they look to send more arms to Kyiv. But Viktor Orban in neighbouring Hungary has refused to do so throughout Russia's invasion. And last month Poland's government said it may stop unless a dispute over grain imports is resolved. I'm confident that Ukraine and Poland will find a way to uh, to address those issues. I expect uh, bigger problems if if major European power, powers or United States itself uh, starts to have a second thought. European political analyst Jan Zielonka says as long as the Democrats are in power in Washington, smaller NATO countries can be persuaded to toe the line. Before then, Fizzo has to woo coalition partners, his biggest likely ally, a supporter of sending weapons to Ukraine. Across Slovakia's northern border, this Polish opposition rally in Warsaw comes just two weeks before Poland goes to the polls. A vote that will now be watched all the more closely in Kyiv. Redmond Channel Global News, London.